Hey guys, uh, this is Vargas and Vargas Jr. And right now we're watching uh, Elimination Chamber. Um, I've actually had a, a really good run of uh, pay-per-views where I get actually get to see them. Uh, I didn't have a chance to see them before, but I'm doing now uh, with my son. And what we're watching right now is the Women's Tag Team Elimination Chamber. chamber. Uh, the first ever... Uh, tag team women elimination. Oh, ho, ho. so you got Sasha Banks and Bailey, Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan, the Iconics, Naomi and Carmella, uh, Mandy Rose, and I forget who her tag team is. Sonia Deville and um, so uh, Nia Jax. Oh, the Super Spear. Uh, Nia Jax and uh, the daughter of Superfly Jimmy Snuka. Um, Tamina? Tamina, I think it's Tamina. And they've been kicking their ass. Uh, uh, just everyone's on the floor right now. You got uh, eight people on the floor. Two more are left to be released from the pod. I can't show you footage because WWE is notorious for um, flagging people that show, you know, uh, part of the matches. So I'm basically just giving you a rundown what's happening. Uh, but... Uh, me and Vargas Jr. here are going to be watching and I'll uh, keep you posted. So right now everyone's just basically kicking each other's asses and uh, I'll let you know how that ended. Say bye-bye. Hey, he said bye-bye. <laughs> he said natural just like his, daughter, his sister. <laughs> Hello again. Uh, the women's tag team elimination chamber has just ended. Crowning the first ever... Uh, WWE Women's Champions, uh, the first ever WWE Women Women's Tag Team Champions. Eh, that's a tongue twister. Uh, the first one out of the chamber were uh, Naomi and Carmella. Uh, Naomi ate the pin. Then the Iconics uh, got kicked out. Then it was uh, Nia Jax and uh, Tamina that got kicked out. Then Sarah Logan got eliminated. And the two people, the two teams that started off the chamber were Sasha Banks and Bailey, and uh, Mandy Rose and Sonia Deville, and they ended the chamber. And uh, Sonia Deville ate uh, a submission by uh, Sasha Banks, and the winners of the first ever women's tag team elimination chamber to crown the first ever women's tag team champions are uh, Sasha Banks and Bailey. So yeah, that was it. Was actually pretty cool. I thought it was gonna be a, a bit of a clusterfuck because there were too many people in the ring at one point, but it was pretty good. Did you like it, Morgan Jr.? Yeah, he liked it. Yeah, I wish I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna share it on Facebook because I can do that, but on YouTube I can't really show any any uh, video because the WWE is really mean about that. And right now they're interviewing Bailey. And Sasha Banks, and they're both crying, and it's really cool because they deserve it. They've they've been jobbing like crazy, and it's about time they actually got some some recognition. So that's pretty cool. Props props to them. Props to them. Hello, this is Vargas and Vargas Jr. still watching Elimination Chamber. Uh, a match that just ended was a tag for the tag for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, and it was uh, the Miz. And Shane O'Mac versus the Usos. And uh, my goodness, Shane O'Mac really has to stop doing the crazy shit he does. He did a coast to coast and he bumped his head really, really bad. And then he, they're showing the replay. He just jumped from the turnbuckle to the outside announce table trying to hit one of the Usos and murdered himself. He murdered him dead. Like, he didn't even touch one of the Usos, and he just broke himself in half. Like, old JR himself. He broke himself in half! And, uh, the Miz just... The Miz and Shane O'Mac just lost the Tag Team Championships against the Usos. The Usos have won the titles now. Which is surprising, because, uh, I think it was Jimmy Uso got into, uh, police trouble, like, a couple of days ago. So, I'm really surprised that they gave them the titles, but... There you go. Uh, so new uh, men's SmackDown Tag Team Champions, uh, the Usos. What do you think so far? Yeah, 
he's watching it, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was weird. That was weird. It, 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 again, Shane O'Mac, he must have like one hell of a concussion. Because, uh, I mean, they're showing him, and I wish I could show you guys, but they're, they're showing him, and he looks dead. Like, dead. <laughs> wow, poor, poor Shane. Uh, so, yeah, that, that sucks. He really should stop wrestling. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if the, the Women's Tag Team Championship elimination was the first one, and this is the second match. I don't know. I started watching since... When the uh, women's elimination chamber started, so I don't know how many matches we got left, so uh, stay tuned. Hello, little Vargas is here. He finished this bottle, and uh, oh, he got stuck. There we go. And uh, match that just ended is Finn Balor versus Bobby Lashley. Uh, it was a handicap match: uh, Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush against Finn Balor. And uh, as anyone would have a brain with it might have anticipated this, uh, Leo Rush was the weak link in that, and uh, Finn Balor picked up the pin, uh, becoming the new Intercontinental Champion, uh, which is pretty cool. I mean, he was in the running for the Universal Championship, which, uh, you know, you know it's not, it's not uh, the big thing, but props to him because he, he actually deserves it. The WWE has actually uh, been giving like uh, props to his talent, to their talent. Uh, Sasha and Bailey now, uh, Finn Balor. Uh, now Leo Rush is gonna get his ass kicked by Bobby Lashley, <laughs> but uh, Leo, Leo Rush is is not cool. Uh, so yeah, Finn Balor. Finn Balor is the new Intercontinental Champion. I actually really really like the Intercontinental Champion, uh, the the white strap with the with the gold, looks really really cool. So uh, yeah, I I don't know what ne mat match is gonna be next, but uh, we'll see what's up. See you later, guys. Hello. So uh, we we just saw the shortest match in the Elimination Chamber. Uh, Ronda Rousey uh, fought Ruby Riot for like a minute. And uh, Ronda Rousey submitted her, and match done. The cool thing was that, uh, well, Charlotte came out, and she was like, uh, you know, seeing the Ronda Rousey, and she was staring each other down. And all of a sudden, Becky Lynch came out in a couple of crotches, and uh, she started just wailing on Charlotte Flair, just like beating the shit out of her. And then uh, she gave the other crotch to to Ronda Rousey, you're like, okay, your turn. And then Becky Lynch turned around and beat the crap out of Ronda Rousey, like, re really bad, because she busted her open, she, she she was bleeding on the on the side of her head. So that was, that was unexpected. So, uh, man, I didn't, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's what they're going for. They're going for a triple threat match with, between Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch. No one wants that. Everyone wants a one-on-one -on -one match between Ronda Rousey and Becky Lynch. No one except Vince McMahon wants a triple threat match. And uh, and that sucks if it happens. Uh, right now, there's a it's a no-holds-barred match between uh, Baron Corbin and Braun Strowman. So we'll see how that ends. But the, the, the Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Fed, Becky Lynch segment was really cool. I just again, uh, they're really pushing a triple threat, and no one wants a triple threat. But we'll see how that turns out. Oh. Argus Jr. is falling asleep. Yeah, he's gonna fall asleep. Um, just saw Baron Corbin versus Braun Strowman, not a disqualification match. And, uh, yeah. The little guy, little guy's falling asleep. I was giving him uh, food, but and uh, Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre got involved and uh, beat the hell out of Baron, uh, Braun Strowman. So yeah, I guess they're forming a faction. So yay! Let's see what's next. Yeah, Vargas Jr. is asleep. Uh, it wasn't because the the hell the men's hell in the cell was boring. Uh, hell in the cell, 
the men's elimination chamber was boring. It's just that uh, he got tuckered out because of all the wrestling action. <laughs> But uh, the men's uh, elimination chamber just ended. It was Samoa Joe, Daniel Bryan, Matt Hardy, AJ Styles, Kofi Kingston, and uh, Randy Orton. Uh, they participated in the men's elimination chamber. Uh, the first one that got kicked out was Samoa Joe. Uh, then, uh, then AJ Styles. Then, uh, no, uh, it was uh, Samoa Joe, Matt Hardy, then AJ Styles, which actually surprised me. Then, um, Randy Orton, and at the end, Daniel Bryan and Kofi Kingston gave a hell of a match. Uh, Kofi Kingston's really agile, he, he really went all out, but uh, Daniel Bryan just, just won the title and retained, and uh. Yeah, not a lot of people were happy with that, uh, which kind of sucked. Now the the new day, uh, Xavier Woods and Biggie went there to uh, console uh, Kofi Kingston, and uh, he did a, he really did well. Uh, Kofi Kingston took a lot of really uh, big hits, big bumps, but he, he it was really good. Uh, at the start, it felt kind of by the numbers, you know, how everyone got eliminated. But uh, the last Kofi Kingston and Daniel Bryan part was, was great. It was actually really, really good. It, a lot of people are cheering. That was awesome. So, yeah, really good. Um, don't know if this is the last match, actually. So, uh, yeah, if, if, if you want to watch it, just watch the last Kofi Kingston versus Daniel Bryan part. That That's the best part. So uh, we'll be back. Yeah, apparently that that was the the last, that was the last match. The men's elimination chamber was uh, that was it. So all in all, pretty good event. Some some things were kind of a dud, like the Braun Strowman Baron Corman match was kind of a dud. Uh, the women's elimination chamber was really good. Uh, the men's elimination chamber, although like I said by the numbers was uh, the last part was really good. Uh, the Ronda Rousey. Uh, Ruby Riot thing was a joke. Uh, she literally uh, Ruby Riot was just there to promote the Charlotte Flair thing, but Becky Lynch came out uh, and beat the crap out of because uh, she, she actually left Ronda Rousey bleeding, so I guess she took it a bit too far. But uh, that was pretty cool. Um, the Shane McMahon versus the Uso match was was there. There wasn't really anything extraordinary. So, I don't know, I'd give it a 5 out of 10, just because of the women's elimination chamber and the men's elimination chamber. That was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, really grateful that I got a chance to watch this, because uh, it's the road to WrestleMania. They only have one more event, which is Fastlane in March, and then in April it's uh, it's WrestleMania. And I'm, I really hope I can get to see WrestleMania. Because that's, uh, that's the best one. Um, so yeah. <coughs> Thanks so much for watching this, this video on WWE's Elimination Chamber. <coughs> See you guys later.